Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video is a little bit about creating an outline for a font. Somebody posted on Facebook maybe today or yesterday and I apologize I was out of town and I think they've already got it answered. But So I thought I'd make this video. I've made a video like this but not exactly like this because there's two ways to do it. We're going to go Control K and Control Q versus Control Q and Control K and you'll see the difference. So we've got two fonts and they're whatever that word is. I picked a new font. But just go up here and left click, right click. So we're going to do the same thing on this. Left click, right click. But then we're going to do this differently. We're going to take this and we're going to go Control K and Control and then select it all, which is going to save you a little bit of time doing it the other way. And then Control Q. And what that has done is converted it to a curve and it also broke them apart. Now we've got it all selected we're going to weld it. And that worked. Now this time we're going to go Control Q first and then Control C or Control K to break them apart. Now we're going to lasso it all and we're going to weld and see what happened? It took away the inner part of the E. And I'm lucky it didn't take away the inner part of the, the uh, N, but it didn't do all the letters. And maybe I didn't have anything selected. So let's weld it again and see there, I didn't have everything selected. It took away some of our inner parts versus this. So control K first and then control Q, which is convert to curve. Control K is to break it apart. So we'll just go up here to, we'll select on our object. Tell you what, we'll just back up here, get back to our font. And we'll have that selected. And if you go right here to object, here is Control K and here's Control Q, which is to convert to curve. This is break artistic text apart and you can do it up here in the menu you can use this and then select it all go back to object you don't have to remember the hotkeys and now let's left click right click select it all and weld it and it worked now this time we're going to go here object we're going to convert it to a curve first then we're going to break it apart then we're going to, and you already see what it did. It's filled in this. And then left click, right click. And then we're going to weld it. So you're going to lose those inner parts. And just a little side note, as you can see, so we, the top one is the best scenario. So you want to control K first. And the reason for that. Well, let's back up here one more time to get it back to a font. Let's just delete this one. And the reason you'd want to use Control K first also would be this reason. We're going to take our font. Well, I've already Control K it. Let's start. Let's make sure. Okay, now we're back. Let's just delete this. So now we have a font. Let's, I always go no fill outline. So I'm left clicking and then right clicking. And the reason you go control K first is because you can move the letters around and bring this letter. And if you hold down the control button, it'll stay on this line because you want to bring that O in and you want to, now you're going to control K again to break those two parts of the letter up, you might have to do this, select them both, control K. That is weird. Maybe you have to convert it to a curve before you can do that. That's it. You have to convert that particular one to a curve and then just move it down where it'll be like that. Then we need to convert all of it to a cur curve. So control Q. Select it all and weld it. And 
now you have a outline of a font and you can play around with your eyes and you know make this totally different by getting your shape tool and you know doing some different things about it um, you know maybe I didn't mean to delete that one maybe just uh, you know make it a little bit wider all the way around you know it's going to be your eye so it doesn't really matter that doesn't look all that good but and then you can delete some of these notes and make it a little more smoother and delete that one and delete that one and then you could just make that thing bigger and use your handles to make it bigger so it stands out a little bit and then always i've always found that the best way to view this is to color fill it with your smart fill tool and then take away uh, right click no no outline and you won't have an outline I double clicked on it anyway so control K first control Q second anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching